In this lecture, we're going to study the Le Chatelier's principle, which is related to equilibrium. And what that principle is, is that what that principle states basically is that uh, once an equilibrium has been achieved, once an equilibrium has been achieved, in a closed system now a closed system is one in which uh, the reactants or the products cannot escape or there is no escape of energy there is no change in pressure there is no uh, increase or decrease in, uh, there would be an increase or decrease in pressure but nothing would be able to escape or come into the system so uh, once an equilibrium has been achieved in a closed system uh, so any change introduced the equilibrium would try to counter that change would try to counter that change now we're going to uh, we're going to try and understand what is meant by these three sentences that we just wrote down uh, basically in simple words what that means is that if you if you increase temperature now what changes can you what constitutes a change you can either increase temperature So if I increase uh, temperature, then according to the uh, according to Le Chatelier's principle, uh, the equilibrium would try and decrease temperature. Would try to decrease temperature so that's uh, one change that we can do we can do the opposite as well what we can do is we can try to decrease temperature then if we try to decrease temperature the equilibrium is going to counter that it's going to try and increase temperature another change that we can introduce in the system is we can change the pressure we can uh, increase or decrease the pressure so if we if we increase pressure then equilibrium would try to equilibrium would try to decrease pressure Now that's another change. Another change uh, that we can we can also try to decrease uh, pressure. If we try to decrease pressure, equilibrium would try to increase pressure. Another thing that we can do is we can uh, uh, the third thing we can do is we can we can increase or decrease the concentration of a reactant on a product. So if we if we try to increase a concentration. of uh, let's say a particular reactant then your equilibrium would try to do the opposite it's going to counter that it's going to try and decrease so equilibrium would try to decrease it would try to decrease uh, the concentration so we're going to uh, uh, discuss each of these now we probably uh, do understand that understand 
what is meant by the Lee Shatler principle. Whatever change that you introduce in the system, the equilibrium is going to counter that. Uh, but why would it counter that, and what's the what's the uh, what's the understanding behind that? We're going to discuss that now.